Let's add and subtract polynomials. For example, let's add these two polynomials together. The first thing we'll do is remove these parentheses. In other words, this is equal to 6x squared minus x minus 2, and then plus 7x squared minus 5x plus 3. And now let's focus on grouping like terms. The 6x squared and 7x squared are like terms, as well as the negative x and negative 5x, as are negative 2 and 3. So grouping these together gives us 6x squared plus 7x squared and then plus negative x minus 5x, and then plus negative 2 plus 3, which is equal to 13x squared minus 6x plus 1. Which would be our answer? Now sometimes you'll see polynomials added vertically. We have this first polynomial, 6x squared minus x minus 2. And then we're adding to this the second polynomial, 7x squared minus 5x plus 3. And now the like terms are aligned vertically. So adding them will give us the same answer of 13x squared minus 6x plus 1. All right, let's look at another example. Let's subtract. Now with subtraction, we have to be very careful when we remove our parentheses and distribute this negative or negative one to all three of these terms in the second polynomial. That is, this is equal to negative u squared plus five u and then minus 3u squared minus 7u minus 6. Again, we'll group like terms, the negative u squared and negative 3u squared are like terms, as well as the 5u and negative 7u. So grouping them together gives us negative u squared minus 3u squared and then plus 5u minus 7u, and then minus 6, which is equal to negative 4u squared minus 2u minus 6, which would be our answer. And now if we try to do this vertically, we have to be careful here because of the subtraction. In other words, we have negative u squared plus 5u, and then minus, but it's minus the entire second polynomial, this 3u squared plus 7u plus 6. So negative u squared minus 3u squared is negative 4u squared, and then 5u minus 7u is negative 2u. Now we have to be very careful with this constant term here. So let's put a plus 0 here in the first polynomial because when we're subtracting, it's really 0 minus 6 or negative 6, which is the same answer. Now often when we subtract vertically, you'll see the following instead. We have the negative u squared plus 5u, but then subtraction means we add the opposite. So plus, and then the opposite of the second polynomial is negative 3u squared minus 7u minus 6. And so now we can add. We get negative 4u squared minus 2u minus 6, which again is the same answer. 
so be careful with subtraction. All right, let's look at one more example. Notice now we have three polynomials, but we are subtracting the second and adding the third. So we need to be careful when we're removing our parentheses. That is, this is equal to negative 5w squared minus 5w plus 3, and then minus a negative 4w squared, or plus 4w squared, and then minus a negative 2w, or plus 2w, and then minus a negative 2, or plus 2, and then plus 3w minus 2w squared plus 1. Again, grouping like terms, negative 5w squared, 4w squared, and negative 2w squared are like terms, as well as the negative 5w, 2w, and 3w, as are the 3, the 2, and the 1. So grouping these together gives us negative 5w squared plus 4w squared minus 2w squared, and then plus negative 5w plus 2w plus 3w, and then plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is equal to negative 5w squared plus 4w squared minus 2w squared is negative 3w squared, and then we have plus negative 5w plus 2w plus 3w is 0w, which we don't write. And then we have plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is plus 6, which would be our answer. Now, if we wanted to do this vertically, we need to be careful here for a few different reasons. So we have this first polynomial here, negative 5w squared minus 5w plus 3. But then looking back up here, we're subtracting this entire second polynomial, which is equivalent to adding its opposite. And its opposite is 4w squared plus 2w plus 2. And then we're adding this third polynomial. However, this third polynomial is not written in order. We want to put this negative 2w squared first. So we have negative 2w squared plus 3w plus 1. And then we're going to add, which gives us negative 3w squared. And then all the w terms cancel. And then we have plus 6, which is the same answer. And this is how we add and subtract polynomials. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.